Hey everyone, it's Ryzen. Welcome back to Let's Play. Finals before the after years. Well, we're here at the Tail Collector because I happen to randomly get enough tails here in order to, well, get a gold tail. So let's trade for silver tails. Oh, do we have to do this individually? Because that's going to be annoying if that's the case. There's nothing tail end about a tail. Oh, no, I do. I have to do it individually. <laughs> oh, wow. I, I've, I've never done this before, so I never got 15 bronze tails before. But, well, I randomly did this time, so yeah, I guess we got to trade uh, our 15 bronze tails in for three silver tails. Normally, you can only get four, uh, you know, two silver tails because you should usually only find 10 and you usually only get like you know, two or three extra ones from drops. But I got five extra ones from drops without even having to go into the challenge dungeon. So, yeah, let's get the gold tail and there we go. Uh, with that, I can eventually trade that in for a Gilband version two, which I think it doubles the amount of money you get. Uh, okay. So, yeah, you know, that's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and meet you back at Kaipo. And yeah, I'll, I'll see you there. Okay, we're in Kaipo. Let's go make some purchases here. I don't think I'll use the Gilvan version 2, but the fact that I can actually get it later and show it to you is cool. Now, if you don't have a ton of money and, uh, you know, if you're not going to be able to get eight to 9,000 gil uh, by the time you sell anything that's excess that you don't need, then you might want to skip on the silver breastplates or the berets or potentially both for the guards, but I'm going to buy them because I can afford to. Four silver breastplates, four berets, a rune armlet, and three iron shields. You definitely want to get the... Uh... Yeah, the breastplates are better than the iron armor because they have better magic defense on it. Even though the iron armor is cheaper. And then two, uh, what are they, iron swords? I think they're iron swords. Yeah, yeah, they're iron swords. And then go ahead and uh, equip those. We can just auto equip, but make sure they get, get the gill band on Edward there. That's going to be really important. Uh, the challenge dungeon is based heavily around... Yeah, there we go. That's good. It's based heavily around um, money and we can't take out more money than we bring in. So we want to go in with eight to nine thousand and specifically that amount uh, in between there. Occasionally you'll have to. Uh... Oh, we also need to bring in some gold needles. So up to five is good. Up to five maiden's kisses. Uh, have at least ten high potions and I'd say at least five phoenix downs and you should be fine. And then uh, let's go ahead and sell some things. Sell those potions. I don't think either sell for anything. No, sadly they don't. Crosses sell for anything? No. Cottages, we don't need those. We don't need tents. Have at least one remedy. Since I happen to have two remedies, I can sell one. But that'll be nice. I can sell, a, uh, what is it, Stardust? Yeah, I got that randomly. And then I think a Coral Whisker sells for a decent amount. Yep. Okay. And then I guess the Broad Swords I can sell and the Long Swords I can sell. I don't need those. There we go. That gives me eight to 9,000. And make it a new moon if this lady would get out of my way. There we go. Now, occasionally you'll have to farm some money either outside Kaipo, outside uh, or in the underground waterway or outside Baron in between, you know, runs. I usually just do it outside Kaipo uh, because you only need 400 to reset the moon phase or 300 if the moon phase changed because we want to make it a new moon every time we go in and we want to reset that. And that will cost us, you know, 400 gil in the worst case scenario. So it's something to be aware of. But again, that's like a minute <laughs> of farming. So no big deal. And you don't need to farm until you get below 8,000. 
But anyway, we need to get uh, 50,000 gil in order to get the rare chest at the end. Yeah, the more gil, the better chance. There's also a 40,000 chest, a 30,000 chest, a 20,000 chest, and a 10,000 chest. But they're all much less likely to get the rare item. Occasionally you can get a rare item in like the 10,000 chest, but... But, uh, yeah, really just go for the 50,000 chest. But you make you want to make sure that you still have, you know, the 8,000 plus a change, whatever you got. So in my case, I want 57,035 gil. So I can, you know, go out with the same amount that I came in. If you really have a ton of gil coming in, or if you get, like, have like, like say I ended up with like 80,000 gil or something, then sure, I could buy a second chest. Or I could, you know, buy a couple of remedies, because you can sell those outside the dungeon. There we go. Got him. Now, I am going to show you a path that is pretty efficient for getting through the dungeon. There's several options for getting money here. Uh, first things first, we want to talk to this lady here. Now, she wants 5,000 gil, and she will pay us back with interest. And she will always pay us back, and she is excellent to give money to, so... Always give her money, and you need to talk to her so that we can find her later, and she will be uh, random where she is, but she will be available later. I'm not going to edit on any battles so you can see how much money I'm getting from the enemies. I uh, want to exit the leftmost door, and we want to enter the elevator. Now, this elevator is only where you leave it, and it starts on, uh, what is this, the second floor? Yeah, it starts on the second floor, but if I were to go up to the third floor... Without moving the elevator up there, it wouldn't be there. So it costs uh, a thousand gil. We want to go to the fourth floor first. We want to uh, go east to uh, two doors. Uh, nope, I want to go in this door, center door here. We need we need to talk to this uh, old lady here. She is looking for the adamantine pig, and she will give us some money if we can find the adamantine pig. You don't have to talk to these other people, but I'm gonna talk to them anyway. Check the pots, because we might actually get... Actually, check everything in this dungeon. Desks. Uh, I don't think you need to check these things, but... Uh, sometimes there is items in the actual desks. I just don't think it's ever in this room. Pots, there can be items in... Uh, Stacks of wood, uh, bookshelves, even the backs of bookshelves can have items. Uh, even empty chests can have items in them. Kind of crazy in this dungeon. But anyway, sometimes you'll find a poet's notebook in there, and you can exchange that later for some money. But anyway, back to the elevator. Sometimes you'll never be able to find... Uh, I think sometimes the post notebook just never spawns at all. Or maybe that's the Whisperweed Seed. Maybe it's both. I don't remember. But whatever. Um, let's go to the third floor. If you follow the path I'm taking, you'll get all the items that are guaranteed to show up. Eventually. Now I'll go south into the room. Now we need to talk to one of these guys here. They are going to take a random amount of money. We have 2,419. Okay, I got lucky. He took 300. Uh, sometimes what that guy will do is he will take 10,000 gil. Uh, it's a, basically a maximum of 10,000, but completely random. Uh, there's no minimum. Uh, okay, this guy, we need to kill the Kate Sith first, or we're going to get hit with a uh, blaster. Pretty much one of the few enemies where we need to just not leave him alone. I can't just auto battle this one, sadly. When you get low on HP, use Feast of the Lamb. There we go. Now we can auto battle. Simple enough. Now we want to go to the East one. Basically, he doesn't check that you have the amount of money that you have. So if he asked for 10,000 gil and I didn't have 10,000 gil, he'd just take everything I had. And that's fine, because then we leave the room, go in here, and we're looking for chocobos. Now, he took 10,000 gil from me. I don't care, because I didn't have that anyway. Now, I'm looking for at least 5,000 gil from one of these chocobos. 
If you really can't find that, uh, just leave the room and re-enter. Uh, okay, yep. He uh, gave me 5,000 gil. So I want to leave. Uh, it's basically a complete random game of chance what they give you. Uh, so once you get 5,000, that's enough. Get out of there. Just pack the ogre. So yes, I am basically manipulating this dungeon so that I have very little money, but enough to get, you know, to this point. And then it basically I'll be able to get zero gil, but be able to take advantage of the more random amounts of gil. Uh, like the chocobo and these toll here. And now we go in here and we fight a boss. This is a weird boss, uh, a very weird boss. It's a flame hound. Uh, he doesn't use blaze unless he's low on HP, which is completely useless to him because it doesn't do much damage at low HP. So just auto attack him. Yeah, kind of weird that we're finally getting a boss fight uh, in the challenge dungeon and it's just a generic enemy, but whatever, more HP and I guess the boss flag. Yeah, I don't know why Edward gets no boss fights in his actual tale. It's very strange. I do like the challenge dungeon, though. The challenge dungeon is cool. A lot better than forums, in my opinion. You can also use Bard Song to try to heal, but I prefer Feast of the Lamb. Yeah, see, he's almost dead. He's using Blaze. We get some money from him. And the Bard's Liar. You see, what would have happened if I had fought the boss first before going to the Chocobos is I would have lost that money I got from the boss and I don't want to lose 3,000 gil. So that's why I do the Chocobos first. But I pay the tolls here first, then I go to the Chocobos, uh, and then I come back and fight the boss. That's the order you want to do it in. But yeah, we get a Bard's Liar for that. That you'll always get. And uh, you'll be able to hand that in later for money. And that sells for a lot. The Poet's Notebook and the Whisperweed Seed do not sell for much. So if you don't get those, it's not a big deal. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use a Bomb Crank. Which I think will kill all of them. Yeah, there you go. Zeus's Wrath can also work on the Yellow Jelly, of course. We want to head east and enter the center north room now. Now the girl we loaned money might be in this room. If she is, great, talk to her. If she isn't, well, she'll be somewhere else. Now the adamantine pig, he might be right in this corner. If he is, great, talk to him. Uh, if he isn't, well, you'll find him somewhere else. So now we'll go left. And let's talk to this woman. She wants the bard's liar. Let's go ahead and give that to her. Or maybe it's a Leerer. I think it's a Leerer. Okay, I can't find it. Let's organize my inventory. So that it'll be at the bottom. I think it will. Okay, maybe not. Where the heck is it? There it is. She'll give us a lot of money for that. There we go. Make sure you, that you have at least one Remedy. This lady here sells Remedies. If you don't have one Remedy, Buy a remedy for the next boss fight. Oh, we got the poet's notebook. Uh, yep, it can be in this chest here randomly. So always open this chest here. And we can check the empty chest here. But nope. I have one remedy, so that's good. Let's, uh, let's go. If you have the level band, which you can get from this dungeon at the end, uh, you'll want to unequip it at this point on uh, Harley for a rune armlet. If you have a second rune armlet, I guess you could put it on Edward, but I don't bother with that. Do you have the gill ban, right? Yep. Okay. Talk to this guy during a new moon. He only shows up during a new moon. And we fight the gill bird, and this guy will not run away. He will, however, use beak on me to petrify, and I need to cure it. He also has bad breath, but hopefully you won't use it. Don't bother using a remedy until the end of the battle, unless you have the guards killed off already, in which case you'll want to remove it in, in battle, and you'll probably want... Oh. 
you might even want to have, you know, two remedies just in case. Well, I was going to use Bart's on there because he was hiding, but he doesn't usually use uh, bad breath, but occasionally he does. But yeah, we get the Gilbert egg. This guy only shows up during a new moon, which is why you want to always come in here during a new moon because the Gilbert egg sells for a lot. You want it. If you need more remedies, go up, buy them, and use them on anybody that got inflicted with uh, bad breath. If you know two people got inflicted with it, for example, and I only had one remedy, I would want to buy a second one, obviously. Gilbert is pretty dangerous because he can petrify your entire party, so. You gotta be careful with that. Always be ready with gold needles. But anyway, let's continue south now. Yeah, I don't know why the music stops there. It's very strange. Uh, we want to take the stairs down to enter the first floor. Now we head north. And we want to enter the room on the right here. To the north here. Open the chests and check the armor. We might find a Whisperweed Seed. I would really like to get that. It can be in the armors. Not today. Ah, darn it. Oh, well. You could, uh, use crowd control on the guys in the back. Which I guess you should do with Edward and Harley right now. Now, I'll show you this, but I don't have the Whispered Seed. But if you have it, you want to come here. Uh, apparently fight some undead. No, no, that's just random. Can't really do anything with the crowd control on these guys, so. Auto battle. Don't run from the enemies, because you might drop Gil. Unless you're really in trouble, but the enemies are so easy in this challenge dungeon that you're really in no danger. Yeah, this guy is looking for the Whisperweed Seed. Give it to him if you found it. I did not find it, so therefore, I can't give it to him. Sometimes it won't show up at all. Same with the Poet's Notebook, I, I think. I think the... Although the Poet's Notebook usually shows up, but the Whisperweed Seed, I've had several runs where it just never shows up. Unfortunately. But anyway, we want to take the room uh, just west of us. And this guy should be the guy that wants the Gilbert egg. So let's give it to him. Yeah, he gives us a lot of gill for that. If you need some battle items to take out the flans, if you care, you could buy them here. Uh, really, just like, you know, one of a Black Bomb, Bremen, and Zeus's Wrath is probably enough, but I usually don't even bother. Uh, they're the one enemies I would consider running from if you just have no uh, battle items left to deal with them. And I usually don't go out of my way to get battle items for them. I mean, running from one enemy is not a big deal. They're very rare here anyway. The guards leveled up. They're probably, what, level 18 now? Now level 17. They cap at level 20. I'll, uh, I'll get rid of them once they're at level 20. I'll just leave them dead. Phoenix down. Check these because we might find the Whisperweed seed. Oh, okay. So this guy will use Toad on us, unfortunately. Uh, unfortunately, we uh, can't do much other than... Oh, that's awful. Oh, this is horrible. Usually he does not do this so badly. It's up to you, Edward. He doesn't have much HP, but I don't care if the guards die. Can you kill the croaker, please, Edward? Thank you. Okay, well, that's awful. We're gonna have to uh, use a Maiden's Kiss now. I was trying to avoid that, but sadly, I I couldn't. We'll have to buy some more uh, Maiden's Kisses. Okay, well, that guard died. I'm not gonna revive him. I was trying to have Edward deal with them all, but unfortunately the game decided to be a jerk to me and not allow me to do that. Oh well. 
Now we need to use Maiden's Kisses. Since I only have one Maiden's Kiss left, I will be running from the Croaker going forward. Oh, yep, the lady can be here sometimes, and she is. Uh, you might find the Whisperweed Seed here, but I did not yet. Yeah, so she'll pay us back. Oh, good, 13,000, huh? She pays us back a random amount, but it's always a profit. Come on, Whisperweed Seed. Nope, not today. Sorry, can't show you that one. But yeah, trust me, you can get it here randomly. And we have the Poet's Notebook. We can continue to the end of the hallway. And we can exchange that. I don't really care too much about the Whisperweed Seed. It only sells for like a thousand gil. It's not really a big deal. But yeah, it just didn't spawn in the dungeon at all then. It's only ever in these two rooms. In the two rooms I showed you. But we do have the Poet's Notebook, so we can go to the end of the hallway and hand that in. If you didn't get the Poet's Notebook, uh, I believe it just didn't spawn for you then. I don't think you can find it later. And it doesn't sell for that much anyway, so... Don't worry about it. Yep, we got the Poet's Notebook. We'll uh, give it to you. Yeah, only a thousand gil. I think the Whisperweed Seed is like 1500. Uh, not very good, frankly. Uh, doing good on money here, 44,000. Return south. If you did get the Whisperweed Seed in this section here, obviously, Go to the uh, northeast room there. Uh, northeast door. Go to the end of the hallway there. Talk to the guy that wants the Whisperweed Seed and sell it to him. But I did not get it, so therefore I cannot do that. And I'm never going to get it, unfortunately. Maybe on, re well, on repeat runs I might, but not this run, sadly. So instead, we're going to go ahead and go north. And we're going to go, well, we're going to go take the north downstairs on the west wall, basically which is a boss room. And we're gonna go ahead and check the uh, objects here. Red Fang, nice. Could use that against uh, plants. I don't care if the moon phase changes now, by the way, because uh, I've already killed the Gilbert. Nope, nothing there. There's a secret passage here. I could be crowd controlling, but I'm lazy. You probably should have Edward and Harley attack the back row enemies. It's probably more efficient that way because they can crowd control them, but it doesn't really matter. Get a white fang there, awesome. Could use that against uh, Flans as well. It's so strong that it would work even without a weakness. Okay, uh... I want one of the guards to switch basically here. Because, well... Harley and Edward can attack from the, uh, in either row just fine. Actually, it doesn't really matter. Like, I, think, uh, I can only blind these guys with the Dark Harp. There's not really much point to doing crowd control with Edward. Now that I think about it. Maybe Harley, because she can paralyze. Oh, okay. Uh, this guy, uh, the Lilith here, throw a high potion on her. I wouldn't run b run uh, below 10 high potions, personally. Uh, at that point, I, I would probably just either run from her or uh, just deal with her counters by attacking her. I don't remember if you can get stuff in these flower pots. Nope, nothing in there. Nothing in there. Talk to this guy. Another boss fight. Steel Golem. If you have the Ice Whip for Harley, this would be very, very useful for her right now. 
Uh, it's the whip she can get randomly. Thanks for putting her to sleep, game. Thanks. Use Feast of the Lamb if you need it, of course. But just auto battle and eventually he'll die. Uh, I'm probably going to need to use Feast of the Lamb once Harley wakes up. If she will wake up. Uh, one of these days she'll wake up. Okay, we're gonna... I guess we're gonna Bard Song and see if I can get Life's Anthem. Nope. Yeah, we kind of have to here. Now well, Guardian's Ballad will work, I guess. I'm not sure why Harley is staying asleep so long. There we go. Now we can use Feast of the Lamb. Of course, we could also have the guy die right before I use Feast of the Lamb. Thank you for that. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you for falling asleep again. I, I just, I'm so happy that you did that to me, game. Thank you. I didn't want Harley doing anything in the battle. Don't worry about it. Yeah, this guy is a little annoying, but whatever. Just auto battle. We'll eventually get him. Yeah, we don't get anything from him, just some money, but it's worth fighting for the experience and stuff. So there we go. Now we take these stairs south of us. Now there is a man walking around here, an old man. Uh, whatever you do, ignore him. Uh, he will ask for you to invest in him. And just like the, uh, the woman earlier, but unlike the woman, this old man will sometimes not pay you back. And that's a massive problem. So he can just like steal your money from you. And it's never worth the risk. So don't talk to him. He also shows up randomly elsewhere in the dungeon. Yeah, examine all this stuff here. Army sandals, nice. Don't talk to him. I forget how much he takes, but... Yeah, sometimes you'll be like, oh, my investments didn't pan out, so sorry. I don't have your money. You can also find the adamantine pig in this room sometimes. Ooh, thousand gil, nice. He sometimes is down here, I believe. Somewhere in this room, I think he's down here. He doesn't spawn too often in this room for me. Yeah, take him down. Blue Fang, nice. Counter rate's gone insane, of course. But that's okay. Mainly, I wanted to still upgrade the the guards because Harley's such a low level coming into this because she wasn't with the solo Edward section. I really need the guards to help catch her up to get her strong enough to handle the dungeon without the guards. And really, once the guards hit level 20, I think Edward and Harley will be fine for you. At least they always were for me. Outside of the Gilbert that can maybe stone both of them, but if that happens to you, you just got really unlucky. Now this is another boss fight, just auto battle, and chances are you're not going to defeat the guy. All he does is run away from you, or do some weak attacks on you. He's no threat at all. But yeah, that, that's what usually happens, unfortunately. Oh well. He drops money if you beat him. But sadly, I did not. It's just a pure level check. Anyway, exit this room, take the stairs south of us. Nab all the items in here. This is basically a big item room. Not a big deal at all. Check the uh, empty chest as well, but you can get a lot of consumables, a lot of, sometimes some money. Uh, it's really worth checking this room out. Plus, I want to get... Oh, there we go. Guard C leveled up. Right, he's a little behind, unfortunately. Which is kind of unfortunate, but whatever. He died in that one fight. 
Magic Potion, Phoenix down, in there. I know it's weird to check open chests, but you want to. Check the, the little table things. Now we still haven't found the adamantine pig. So unfortunately that means he's in the most annoying spot. Ooh, a remedy, awesome. Potion, get out of here. So now we wanna go west and up the center stairs. Okay, so let's head up here. Now you don't have to do this if you have already found the adamantine pig and the woman that pays you back, but I did not, so I have to come in here. I found the woman already, but not the adamantine pig. So unfortunately, these guys want a bunch of tolls. Yeah, and I have to pay all of them. Uh, now the old man can also be in here if you haven't found him or if you paid him and you want to try to get your money back, he'd be somewhere in here. Uh, the old, uh, not the old lady, the, uh, the young woman there would be, I think right here. Uh, in one of these doors, she'd be behind them. Oh, and here's the adamantine pig. He's all the way at the end. Uh, that's the last spot he can be. This is also the last spot the uh, woman can be. I think she's two away from the adamantine pig. Yeah, so she'd be... Oop, mind flayers. Just attack them. Not concerned about them, really. She'd be right here, I think. Either that one or this one. But regardless, if you already found the adamantine pig and you haven't found the woman, just pay the tolls up to where the woman is and then leave. If you found both of them, don't worry about paying for these tolls at all. You don't need to. But anyway, let's enter the, uh, the room east above the stairs because there is basically another boss fight in here. This is the second bandit. You do want to try to defeat him because sometimes you get lucky and well, you get some money from the guy. But a lot of times he'll just run. Uh, he can also cast, uh, I think, Lazara on you, but it's like super weak. You need a lot of attacks to defeat him. So we'll see if he uh, sticks around. Nope. He didn't. Oh, well. It's basically nearly impossible. It's a pure level check. I would need him to stick around for a really long time. It's a pure level and equipment check, really. Anyway, let's go down to the uh, lower level. And we're going to enter the northeast passage uh, below the stairs here. Or below the upper level. Uh, the man can be found here if you lent the old man money. I did not, and I don't think, I don't recommend that you do again, as I said. So, I'm not going to look for him, but he could be here. Uh, you might want to check for him here first, before checking the tolls, if you found the adamantine pig and the woman first. If, for some reason, you really want to use the old man for potential money, but, uh, like I said, I don't. I don't think it's worthwhile. But, yeah, I mean, just, I guess, change the route slightly. And if he's not here, just go back and then check the tolls. I don't know where in that toll room he is, but he's somewhere in that toll room. Now, this is a weird room. We can get items from the bookshelves. That's not so weird. That's a phoenix down. What is weird is that we can get items from the back of the bookshelves. Eventually. Okay, usually. There you go. A thousand gil. There's always an echo herb up here. I don't know why it's always an echo herb, but it's always there. A lot of the items in the dungeon are random, but that one is not. Anyway, exit to the north. Gonna exit through the center room here. Yeah, uh, we might want to actually use Feast of the Lamb. Probably. Well, next battle, I guess. How are we doing on money? Moon changed. Don't care. We've already killed the Gilbert. We're totally fine. 
So we are gonna go west to the elevator. Uh, there's a reason why I left the elevator where I did. Uh, okay, I guess we'll use... Where is it? Red Fang. Yeah, I left the elevator where I did because, well, if I left it anywhere else, I wouldn't be able to use it here. And I want to use it here. But we're on, I think, the third floor. And we want to go to the fourth floor. Yep. Yeah, basically, we're handing in the adamantine pig. And it is right here. Yeah, I think this is enough. Got a pretty low amount of money this time, but that's okay. If you don't quite have enough money, uh, just farm some enemies. There we go, 8,500. Yep, yep. Even if I had bought a remedy, I would be fine because there's still one more boss fight. Now, interestingly enough, I'm just gonna show you this. It's not really something that you need to do, but yeah, you go back in and there's the adamantine pig. Yeah, he's actually working here. They didn't want to cook him, apparently, which is hilarious. They actually wanted to hire him as like a waiter, which is kind of funny. But anyway, now we want to go north and go north and one more boss fight should be a Belphegor. He's weak to Holy, so if you have a Holy Harp from Edward and... Okay, well, we're gonna use Feast of the Lamb. If Tornado had hit me, I would have used a High Potion. But I need to heal everybody at this point. But yeah, if Tornado hits, just use a High Potion. But yeah, there is a Holy Elemental Harp that we do get randomly from this dungeon that I want to give to Edward. It'd be really good here. His tornado will more often than not hit you, so you will have to use a high potion. But I might get lucky and you might not use it. Other than that first time that missed. Oh, nope, he's doing it here and... Oh, it missed again. Awesome. Yeah, I would have just tossed a high potion. Cool. 4,500 gil. Yep. I would have had enough for a remedy. I don't think anything can ever be in these armor that I always check anyway. Here's the end of the dungeon. Buy the 50,000 guild chest and get, of course, a completely useless elixir. Thanks, game. Thanks. Thanks. I'm pretty sure that is one of the rare chests, but literally what I didn't want to get. Thanks, game. Couldn't be a piece of equipment. Oh, no. God forbid. God forbid it's something useful that I actually want. I don't have anything else I can do because if I do the 10,000 one, I'll have less money than I come in with. And I'll only have 5,000 leaving, so... Oh well, we gotta leave. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to raid the dungeon. Well, we're, I'm gonna make it a new moon again. Uh, might fight a few enemies here. Uh, actually, let's see. How much do you give out of here? I don't remember exactly. With a gill band. Probably enough to get, you know, 400 gil pretty easily, I would imagine. Yeah, that's 100 gil. Yeah, it's like four fights. Yeah, no big deal at all. But yeah, I'm going to make it a new moon. I'm going to run the dungeon again and again until... I think after the next one, my, my guards will reach uh, level 20 and then I'll kill them off. And I will show you another run through the dungeon with just Harley and Edward uh, once, you know, they're around. I'll probably just, you know, be sprinting through it, but I'll show it to you. Well, actually, I probably won't sprint through it because of my hand. I think once I'm done with Edward's Tale, I am going to take a break. Uh, because I need my hand to heal, and this is not helping. Alright, so yeah, this is Ryzen. Thanks for watching. Take care.